Well, good morning, Lionhearts. Continuation from yesterday, as promised. It's the morning. Now let's take a look at <laughs> what I got last night. Now I do know the food in here is what John packed up. He was so proud of himself sending it home with me. Now let's see what the ladies put inside. All right, that's from them. There's John's uh, chicken and carrots and peas and rice and all that stuff. Now. <laughs> uh, that was from Skylar. <laughs> and this is from Bree. Says, hi, have you seen my vid? It's amazing. And then it has pot roast. <laughs> Me and John. That is so great. What a great night. Well, what a great way to start the day. Just getting those notes and then hanging out with my buddy here for our morning walk. Can't ask for anything better. Except for maybe tonight, because tonight, I'm gonna go to Dark Harbor at the Queen Mary ship. A lot of people have asked me to go to this before. It's supposedly a haunted ship. I don't know what kind of footage I'll be able to get from my camera, so my plan is to get there super early. I'm even gonna torture myself by taking a two hour train ride to get there so I don't have to uh, drive or pay for parking or any of that stuff. And I'm gonna get there early while the sun's still out, hopefully get some footage from the outside just in case the inside doesn't pan out for me. But this is the haunted mazes inside the Queen Mary. Well, I'm kind of in a weird predicament today because I actually had an extra ticket now that everything didn't pan out for the weekend the way I thought it was. So I posted on Facebook um, inviting someone else to come along with me. The problem is now a friend, not a real good friend, but a kind of a distant friend um, has been making a movie for literally 15 years and I didn't know that tonight he's finally showing the movie. Now um, he wasn't a real close friend like I said, but the guy who was the director of photography on that basically it was this guy was the, the guy who I'm talking about um, who wasn't a, a real close friend. He wrote funded, directed, acted in, and wrote the soundtrack for this movie. So it's his, been his baby for 15 years. And my friend, um, who was the director of photography, was a good friend of his, and they actually went and filmed this all together. And then it was edited by someone else. So it was basically a three-man project. And unfortunately, it's tonight, and I didn't know it. Um, but I've already spent so much money on our tickets for tonight for um, Dark Harbor that I just couldn't justify blowing all that off and then spending more money for his movie premiere. Um, I do feel bad because I really wanted to see it, especially as much time as he's put in, but you just can't do everything and they're basically at the same time. So that's what I was kind of dealing with, but hopefully we found somebody who's going to uh, come to Dark Harbor with me tonight. It'll be a little bit of a surprise for you guys. But I'll probably chill out most of the day because it's super hot. It's a Kenny Rogers roaster out here today, so. It is definitely not the most convenient method taking the train there, but tomorrow's street cleaning and they uh, they just don't make parking easy over there. But it looked like pretty much where the train drops off, they have a shuttle that goes from there to the Queen Mary. So I just figured I haven't taken that train all the way down there since probably my first or second year here. It might remind me of some things that are right off the train stop and maybe I'll vlog those in the future where I don't have to drive and I can just hop off the train. I know I mentioned on one of the live streams that um, places that were on my list of uh, vlogging travel vlog adventures in the future was Bruges, Belgium. And that somehow came up in conversation last night with John and Skylar and they're both like, oh yeah, we went there. Oh God, you gotta go, you'll love it, it's so great. So they were really selling me on it. And then Neil, my very first drummer and buddy who lives in Mexico, he had caught the end of that live stream and he actually said, Jordan, if you go to Bruges, contact me. I have the hook up there for you. So someday that might be in my future. These Pumas have been sitting out here for about two weeks now, so they're free if anybody wants to try some. Now I'm definitely not planning any trips like in the immediate future or anything, but I like to get thinking about it so I can start researching and see if there's any drawbacks. Plus, the one thing I found with the last trip was that if you 
are smart and go in an off season when the weather's still cool, you can have a lot more fun and it's not quite so congested. So that might give me something to think about as to a time when I should consider going there if I go. So this week I'm actually going to have to do a special uh, Patreon sunglasses vlog where I do a special vlog with a different pair of sunglasses and send them to the person. So if you have any uh, suggestions or things that you think would be a special vlog, let me know. Post it in the comments section. Because you never know, maybe I'll do it. I knew I had it. Look what I found. And that's the back. I think I mentioned it in one of the vlogs or one of the live vlogs recently. Well, that's kind of a bummer. Um, yesterday I had actually posted on my Facebook that um, since I had an extra ticket, if one of my friends or a viewer wanted to come with me, they could. And so somebody hit me up and said they wanted to go. And we were going to meet there and they just uh, let me know that they have a family emergency so they can't go. Um, so bummer. Um, and it's I'm pretty much going to leave in an hour, so it's probably a little too late to invite anybody else. Um, I hit up my friend Hale since he lives over in Long Beach and he said he's already busy, so I think I'm just going to go and vlog it and come back. I was just watching a podcast on YouTube of Joey Diaz and the uh, recently deceased Ralphie May, and they're talking in there and one of the things that Joey says that I think is really worth pointing out is he says, there's no escalator to the top, you have to take the stairs. Step by step by step by step. Well, we're starting our trip to the train station. It's gonna be about a two hour or two hour plus ride. But, I mean, by car, I guess it would have only been 30 minutes, but um, that's fine. It'll give me a lot of thinking time. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, I think this uh, train actually goes right by Watts Towers, so I'll get to check out Watts Towers on the way from the windows. Buck Owen shirt and moon shoes. I feel good. We're basically going from here all the way down to here. So now we have to transfer over to here to the blue line to Long Beach. Definitely losing the light, but I think I might get over there just in time. You see the uh, Ferris wheel over there in the distance? All lit up. I guess we have to cut through this plaza to get to uh, Shoreline Drive. There's a roller coaster going over top, and that is actually the bus I need. Perfect timing. Here we are, the Queen Mary. What at one time was a blue ribbon winning ship for, I believe, 16 out of 17 years. Now it's a mainstay museum here in Long Beach. And someday we'll come here and take a tour through it. But today, it's Dark Harbor. All right, I was just double checking to make sure I didn't have to uh, show my voucher anywhere else, so I guess we're good to go. These are the uh, prices if you show up here. I'm actually a little bit early. It doesn't start till 7. It's like 6.30 now. Apparently, this over here is what we're going to be dealing with. The haunted maze. Oh, can't wait to come back and do this ship. During World War II, they actually used that to transport troops back and forth to the war. All right, we are in. Luckily, most of this looks like it's outside, so since it's still light out, I might be able to film some good stuff. Now we're just all 
all waiting for him to open it up. That's the entrance right there. Speaking. So how are we today? Woo! Oh, you're, you're too kind. You're, no, you're not kind enough. A little more. Come on. Oh, oh, that was woefully underwhelming. Right? Hello, boys and girls! You look absolutely horrific. How marvelous to see you. I am your ringmaster, and it is my distinct pleasure to join the captain, my captain. Oh, you're too kind. In you're too kind. Welcoming you to Dark Harbor 2017. Are you ready to come play with us? Yeah. Well, Captain, do you think it's time to maybe let them into our little playground? Good God. <laughs> Open the gates. <laughs> Over here to Slider Alley. in there so I don't know what you're gonna get out of this but it's pretty fun so far there's a lot of different mazes to go through you don't get much closer to the ship than this actually I think this one's in the ship right over there now this ship was actually originally out of uh, Liverpool England We're going into the ship This one's called B340. I have no idea. Captain? Wow. Look at all that part of the boat down there. Wow. This 
is kind of a good example as to why I need a low light camera for these kind of things. Once again, we made it out alive. That was actually pretty cool. It's like a psycho ward inside there. This one seems to be extremely popular, so I'll have to hop in line. It's called the Lullaby. Actually, that line is so long, I'm gonna go over here and see what else is over here first. In this. This is called Dead Rise Feast. This looks fun. I see fire shooting out. This one you have to go all the way up these stairs and then back over. Pretty cool. This is actually my first year doing this. I'm pretty impressed that they have most of the mazes going inside the ship. I might have to come for that exhibit since I've been watching that whole uh, documentary on the royal family. So when this one starts, we'll actually be walking across that catwalk to enter. They actually have like multiple levels. Each one's a different maze. Alright, we're finally going in. I'll be honest though, the lines aren't really taking all that long even though they are long. They're kind of getting people through pretty quick. I think after this I'm going to go to the lullaby and then go home. This is not lullaby, but this is, you go inside of a destroyed ship. Here we go. should have done this way earlier now that I'm looking. This line is insane. I 
gonna do the lullaby, but I just went over there and it's an hour wait. Nothing else is an hour wait, so I think I'm gonna forgo that one. I think I'm gonna call it a night. Just about everything is an hour wait, and I've seen a lot. And I've seen a lot. Let's get out of here. Pretty good time. Well, gang, I hope you guys right, enjoyed way, going to right this way. Dark Harbor with me. Right this way now, right this way. We're just dying to meet you.